So this is what an S rank looks like, huh? I think I've seen enough. This is definitely the best leveling system in anime. But surprisingly, that's not the thing that stood out most about this episode. Right at the start, it looks like we have people who might be catching on to Jinu. He's now appeared in two separate mysterious raids, back to back, and manager Wu looking into him is clearly going somewhere. As for Jinu himself, I'm glad we get to see some more downtime and brother-sister bonding. Him and Gina teasing each other is just enjoyable to watch. And her not being suspicious of him bringing in a ton of money and being healthy after a raid is low-key hilarious. Same with the fact that Jinu can no longer get drunk. I had never considered that Jinu's mindset might change once he leveled up, but that seems to be the route we're going, and that could go a lot of different places. He meets up with our buddy Jin Ho, who can't convince him to join up for raids together so Jin Ho can be a guild master. Jin Ho offers 30 billion in exchange, and Jinu turns it down. Yeah, his mindset has changed, and I wonder if that's going to become a problem going forward. Jin Ho teases spilling the secret, and I have a bad feeling about this. Considering how much I liked Jin Ho the last few episodes, I really hope this isn't the start of him being an adversary for Jinu, but I fear it is. I could see that tying into Manager Wu's investigations. Then we see Wang tease he's coming for Jinu, and honestly, while it is a nice revenge setup, I don't really view this one as a big deal, because giving Jinu time is the worst thing you can do. With the rate he grows at, by the time Huang attacks, he's not gonna stand a chance at all. I like the little subtle things too. When Gina kicks Jinu after he teases her before their run, he doesn't flinch or sell it at all, which is a little sign of his increased strength. I also found it interesting how he asked her what she would do with 30 billion, so there might be a little bit of regret there. Anyway, his workout reward allows him to choose a blessed box or a cursed box, and he makes the easy choice of going blessed. The reward is that he can get the elixir of life, which is the perfect temptation for a guy like him with a sick mom. But what's the catch? Well, it's in an S rank dungeon. And finally, we see why this is the best leveling system in anime. Jinu has come so far from the weakest hunter of mankind to become an absolute tank, yet he fights one S rank monster, the Cerberus, and he has to use everything at his disposal. Titles, abilities, skills, weapons, weapons, and even the shop from a few episodes ago. And even with all of that, he barely survives. S rank is on a completely different level than anything we've seen before. He knows it, and he has to leave. This is how you build up a big threat, which plays into making this the perfect setup episode. We see how far Jinu has to go to compete with S ranks. We now have at least three separate parties with different intentions for Jinu in the background right now. And we have a concrete goal to achieve by getting the elixir. And I'm also glad that the shop wasn't OP. Normally when you see that kind of ass pull in anime, it's not really earned. This was set up episodes ago, and the potions weren't a get out of jail free card at all. They did just enough to keep him alive. That was really well written. I can't wait for episode 8.